Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making acrylic keychains in 12 different styles. Be sure to use the chapters to skip ahead to a design that you'd like to make. First, where do you buy acrylic keychains? I bought mine from Wish and they come in a pack of usually 30 or 60 and they're circular and they come with a silver keychain. You can also buy them with the tassels or you can purchase the tassels separately in the colors that you like. Just be mindful because some of the listings will say, for example, 200 pieces, but when you look into the description, they're talking about the metal part and then the acrylic part. So technically you're getting 30 of each. You can also purchase these from Amazon or eBay or some retailers in your own country. They look like this and they come with a plastic film over the top, which you will need to remove. And these are all the different colored tassels that I've bought. They are a suede material with a plastic metal looking stopper on the end. They will come with a keychain and also a metal round piece, which will help you join the keychain to the acrylic piece. Keychains are a great way to use your Cricut vinyl scraps. You're also going to need some transfer tape. Cutting keychains is very fiddly work and you might find that some of your designs are shredded by your Cricut. To overcome this, make sure you're using a new mat that is clean and free from marks. This will ensure a smooth, clean cut. It's also a great idea to replace the blade in your fine point blade. So let's get started creating our template. We're going to go over to shapes, create a circle, drag that over there, and we're going to color it white. And we need to measure out the exact size. Make sure you measure this yourself because you might have a different size to me. My keychains are 4.8 centimeters wide. So I just enter that at the top here. Now I'm going to make the smaller circle which will fit at the top, which is where the keychain goes. So just duplicate your circle and again measure that out four millimeters. So we're going to put that into Cricut Design Space under the width and drag it over to the top. Drag it about three millimeters away from the top. We're gonna to center it. So highlight both pieces, go up to a line and then we're going to click center horizontally. This will make sure it's centered. So then highlight both and we're going to slice the circle out of the bigger circle. And if you drag it over, you can see the smaller circles there underneath. We can delete those pieces. And there's our template that we're going to use for all of our designs. This template will make sure that you're not putting vinyl over that circle and it also helps to kind of give you a visual guide of where your placement is. So our first design is the beautiful bee. We have some gold brush vinyl, black matte vinyl and a black tassel. Starting with our template in Cricut Design Space, head on over to the images tab and I'm going to type in the word honeycomb, which will be the honeycomb pattern that sits behind our bee. Now there are quite a few options in Cricut Design Space. I went with this design at the very bottom. Once you're happy with the selection, insert images. Now, because we're going to slice, create a duplicate of your template and drag your honeycomb over the first template. Now it's really up to you how you wanna place it. I centered mine a little bit. Um, and when I was happy with exactly how it looked, highlight both the honeycomb and the template and we're going to click slice. Now when I drag it over, you can see that the honeycomb has sliced into the shape of our template. And I've got my spare template to see how it looks. And I'm going to color it yellow so that Cricut places it on a separate cutting mat. Going back to the images section of Design Space, I've typed B and I found this cute B here. And I'll pop all of this information in the description below. But we're going to insert that B onto our canvas. Now he is a bit bigger than our template, but you can simply drag him over and then use the bottom right hand arrow to resize and keep the bee black so that it's placed on a separate cutting mat. So the bee I cut from black matte vinyl and the honeycomb I use this gold brush foil. 
we're going to weed out all of the space in our design. And here are our two designs. Remove the plastic film from your acrylic keychain and I recommend leaving the plastic film on the other side so that you don't leave fingerprints. So place some transfer tape over your vinyl and then lightly press it down and peel it off the backing. Then we're going to very carefully place it onto the keychain and use your scraper to press it down before removing the transfer tape. And repeat that step for your bumblebee. I usually remove the backing at this point, being careful not to leave fingerprints. Now to pick our keychain, I've gone with this black colour. And to put the keychain on, you are going to need a little bit of patience and some pliers. I always place the tassel further up the keychain near the ring section so that it's able to dangle freely. And there is our honeycomb bee design and isn't that cute? Now for our citrus sunset design, we've got yellow, orange, red, dark red and white vinyl and an orange tassel. Going into images in Cricut Design Space, I'm looking for the word circle. And you'll notice there's a few designs with these lines in them and you can pick whichever one appeals to you. I've gone with this angled design. Once selected, we're going to insert that onto our canvas. And we have our keychain template ready to go we just need to make an extra copy and then resize it to the same shape. You can type that in the top here, 4.8, or you can also drag it. I'm going to cut the keychain hole out of the top of this vinyl. So to do that, I need to highlight the vinyl lines and then go over and ungroup them. This will separate the lines from each other. Then I can simply take that top piece, drag it over so that it's centre, highlight both the template and that line, and then we use the slice tool to slice that circle out of our line. Delete all the extra pieces, and now when I drag over the second template, you can see it fits perfectly. Now because I'm cutting all of these strips from different vinyl, I'm not going to weld or attach them together. I'm going to leave them all the different colors so that they're placed on different mats. Now let's add the word Danny. So we're going to click on the text button and then I'm going to look for the Cricut font. Type the name Danny and I'm going to color it white so that I know I want to cut it from the white vinyl. Also, don't forget to resize it so that it fits on your template. So these are all the different colors that I'm using for this design. And I just cut a small square from the vinyl so that I have four small pieces. To save some time, we can place the pieces in all four corners of our mats. And then when we go into design space, we just drag them over to the respective squares and we can cut them all separately, but on the same mat. And here are our pieces. We have Danny, and then we've got the various strips. Just like the bumblebee, we're gonna use some transfer tape, peel off that backing, and then very carefully place it onto our acrylic keychain. To make it easier, start with the top and bottom pieces first. And then you'll know exactly where to place those middle pieces. And Danny then goes onto the top there. I found it really hard to choose the right keychain color, but I ended up going with this orange. And attach your keychain with some pliers. And don't forget the tassel. Peel the backing off at the very end so you don't leave fingerprints. And there's our finished keychain. Now let's make our Sabrina keychain. We're going to use black vinyl and a black tassel. Under images in Cricut Design Space, I've looked for the word cat circle. And if we scroll down, there's actually quite a few circular designs with a cute black cat inside. I went with this one. Once selected, insert it onto your canvas with your template underneath and use the bottom right hand arrow to resize it 
so that it fits your template. Now let's add some text and then go up to the top and the font I used is called Alley Cat. Drag it over and resize it so that it fits perfectly onto your acrylic keychain. I decided to add a line underneath the word Sabrina by creating a square. Unlock the aspect ratio padlock underneath and then you can resize it so that it's a thin line. Once everything is in place, remove your template underneath and highlight all of your items and then click weld and this will create one single shape that will fit onto your template. You should only need one square of black vinyl for this project. And here you can see everything cut out. We're going to carefully remove the backing. Now to weed out all the sections that we are not using. Place some transfer tape over the top. Remove one side of the backing and carefully place your design down onto the top of the keychain. Put your keychain together with the tassel. Peel off that backing tape and there you have it, our Sabrina keychain is finished. Now let's make one with a paintbrush effect using teal gloss vinyl, gold matte or pink vinyl and a maroon or blue tassel. Back in images we're going to look up brushy circle and it's the first option that comes up and it kind of looks like someone's used a paintbrush. You can also buy pre-made SVGs of brush strokes which are great for using with these keychain designs. Once you've selected your design, we're going to insert it onto our canvas and resize it to our template. Now it doesn't matter that the paintbrush goes over that circle at the top because we're going to cut that circle out of the design. Don't forget to duplicate your template for later use. Highlight both and make sure everything is centered. And then highlight both again and we're going to use the slice tool and that will cut the hole out of our design. Just delete the pieces that you don't need. Clicking on the text button, I've added the letter R and then I've selected the font called Quarter Note. Drag that over to the center of our design and I'm going to resize it so that it's a bit bigger. So here's our paint design, you can see it cut out and it's very easy to weed. And here is our letter R. Peel one side of the backing off your acrylic keychain and then we're going to use transfer tape to lift the vinyl off the backing. Now for this keychain I'm actually going to put the paint on the back of our acrylic keychain and the letter on the front. We want to get rid of any air bubbles so I've stuck it onto some parchment paper and then I'm very carefully placing just the top area onto the keychain just like that. And then using the scraper, very carefully dragging the backing sheet underneath so that I'm getting rid of any bubbles. You can see when I peel the backing off, there are absolutely no bubbles underneath. I'm sure of that and I can peel that transfer tape off. So then our letter R will sit on the front, not on the same side as your paintbrush design. I've chosen this maroon colour, the tassel, carefully join everything together and there you have it all finished. I've also placed one with the R on the same side as the paint vinyl so you can see what it looks like. Now for the purple glitter leaves, you need purple glitter vinyl and a purple tassel. This design is available in Cricut Design Space under Leaf Circle Border. There's quite a few designs, but I went with this one. Once selected, insert it onto your canvas and you can resize it with the bottom right hand corner and drag it over to your template. You can also rotate your design in the top right hand corner. So now I'm gonna cut these leaves out of our template, highlight both, go down to the bottom and click slice. And when you drag your pieces away, you're left with a template that has the leaves cut out there. 
go over to the text tab, click on that, and then I've typed the letter R, and I've used the Aldean font, but you can use whatever font you like. Resize the letter so that it fits on your keychain design. And be sure to align and center everything so that the R is sitting in the middle. Highlight both the keychain design and the letter R, and we're going to click Slice, which will cut the R out of our design leaving us with what we want to cut with our Cricut. Here's my purple glitter vinyl. Now when working with glitter vinyl, be sure to use strong transfer tape because this will happen otherwise. The strong transfer tape is the only one that can get these glitter vinyl pieces up. Also peel the backing facing up and sort of roll it away like so. Carefully align your design with the circle and then use your scraper to push it down and then carefully pull back your transfer sheet. I went with this vibrant purple which matched really well. And there is our R design with the leaves. For the pink tribal arrows, we're going to use pink adhesive foil and a pink tassel. The arrows are available in Cricut Design Space under Circle Arrow Frame. Select this one and insert it onto your canvas. Resize it using the bottom right hand corner. I'm also going to rotate it by clicking the button in the top right hand corner. And I flipped the design over so the arrow is facing the other way. To add text, we click text, and then I've put the word Florence. I've also used the caveman carving font. Resize your word and then place it in the center of your design. Once you're happy with the placement, drag your template away. And we're going to highlight the word and also the design. And we're going to weld, which will make it one single image that the Cricut will cut. Here's what it looks like all cut out. Very carefully peel the foil from the backing. Weed out any of the spaces in between the letters. Always weed the foil from the back and use some tweezers to help and then place it onto your acrylic keychain. I've gone with this pink salmon colored tassel. And here's our tribal design all finished. Now for our seaside sandy keychain, I've used blue matte vinyl and a white tassel. In images, we're going to type bird coaster. And the very first option that comes up is what we're gonna go with and insert that onto our canvas. Resize it so it fits the shape of our keychain template. Make sure everything is centered. Then highlight both the keychain underneath and the design so we can cut out that little circle piece. To add the word Sandy, click on text and type the name. And then I've changed the font up the top here to Bikini Babe, which is pretty beachy. Now when zooming in on cursive font, you'll notice not all the letters are joined together. So we can actually move them over. But it's also really important that we weld the letters together once we're happy with the placement. Otherwise, your Cricut will cut each letter separately rather than one object. Once you're happy with the font, resize it so that it fits onto your keychain. Then highlight both the keychain design and the word Sandy, and we're going to slice so that the word Sandy is cut out from vinyl. Carefully weed your design. and place it onto your keychain using some transfer tape. I went with the white tassel this time. And there's our finished product, which is quite a little beachy theme, I think. Now for our paint splatter design, which is really fun and whimsical. I used red and yellow vinyl and a yellow tassel. 
We're going to start with the word Jack, so go over to the text button and then type Jack. And I used the Glowworm font for this project, which gives it a bit of a balloon look. I also coloured the word red so that Cricut places it on a separate mat. Then under images, I've looked for paint splat. And if you scroll down, there is one that is a yellow color. Select that one and insert it onto your canvas. Now we only want half of this design, so we're going to shrink it down so it fits just right. Once you're happy with the placement at the very top, move the word Jack out of the way and then highlight your keychain and the splatter and click on slice and you'll notice that it cuts that shape out. So you can use the yellow portion for your design. Carefully weed all of your pieces. And using some transfer tape, line everything up and stick it down on your acrylic keychain. I went with this darker yellow tassel. And there you have it, fun, whimsical Jack paint splatter. Now let's make our green tire design. We've got green vinyl and a green tassel. Under images in Cricut Design Space we're going to type the word arrow circle. And I used this one which looks a bit like tire marks. Once you're happy with your selection insert it onto your canvas. Resize the design so that it fits onto your keychain template. Center everything up with the align tool and then we're going to highlight both and click slice, which will cut a circle out of the tire design. Using the text button, I'm going to add the word Alex, and then I'm going to change the font to Art Deco. Resize your font so that it fits onto your template. Center everything with the align tool, and then move your keychain from behind because we need to weld all of this together so that it becomes one shape. And just be really careful with the weeding on this one because there's a lot of intricate pieces. Use your trusty transfer tape to place your design onto the acrylic keychain and pop your keychain on. And there is our tire design. Here's a mandala design and I've used silver glitter vinyl, grey foil vinyl and a grey tassel. Under images in Cricut Design Space type the word circle and you'll find a mandala there available. Insert it onto your canvas and then resize it so that it fits your keychain template. Then highlight both the template and the design and click slice. And we're actually going to keep both of these sections, one with the space filled in and the other pieces so that I can cut one from the foil vinyl and one from the glitter. Just make sure they're on separate mats by changing the color. And here are our two different types of materials. I'm placing the foil vinyl down first then remember to use your strong grip transfer tape for any glitter vinyl that you're using. Work slowly and also use some tweezers to help lift the glitter vinyl off the transfer tape. I use this grey tassel which fit really well with the colour scheme. Join everything together and our mandala design is finished. Let's do a capital letter cursive with black matte vinyl rose gold vinyl and a tan colored tassel. Click on the text button and add the letter K. You'll want to use a traditional letter style K and then a cursive for the name that will sit over the top. If your cursive letters are not joined, remember that you can highlight all of it, ungroup and then drag your letters so that they're joining each other. Be sure to weld everything together so that Cricut knows it's one piece. And then you can drag it over and resize it to your keychain. Because we're placing the K on the back of our acrylic keychain, 
we need to mirror the K so that the Cricut cuts it backwards. Here I'm using that rose gold vinyl and some black matte vinyl. And here is the name Kara, which has been cut out, and our letter K. Because we're placing the K on the back, you need to put some parchment paper underneath the letter and then very carefully with your scraper tool, run it over. This will remove unnecessary bubbles. And there's our finished keychain. Now we're going to do a split monogram with holographic vinyl and a lilac tassel. Under images in Cricut Design Space, we're going to look for split monogram A. And there are a lot of different designs that you can use, but I've gone with this one. Now we need to increase the space between those two lines. So we create a square and we're going to drag it over just to the bottom piece of our A, highlight both and click slice. And this will separate both sides of the A so that you can give a little bit more room in between. Once you're happy with that, we're going to resize it to our acrylic keychain template. Then using the text function, we're going to type in Amelia. And I've used the DTC cottage design. And once it converts it over, you do need to make sure that your letters are welded together, even though they're joined, so that Cricut doesn't cut each letter out separately. Drag it on over and resize it so that it fits nicely in between those two lines. And we also need to weld everything together so that Cricut knows it's a single object. Here's the holographic vinyl and it's honestly so pretty because in some lights it looks purple, in other lights it looks pink. Carefully weed out the pieces that you don't need. And transfer it over to your keychain using some transfer tape. You may need some tweezers to help you out a little bit. I went with this beautiful lavender colour. I think it looked better than the pink. And our monogram keychain is complete. Now just one final tip before we go. Say you make a mistake and you want to remove the vinyl but it leaves a sticky residue. To remove the sticky substance, place some tea tree oil onto your acrylic keychain and then carefully wipe it with a tissue, ensuring everything is rubbed off. Good as new. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found a design that you'd like to make yourself. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out.